Yes, hello. Okay, so first off, I just started the archive, so anybody that's coming in after the fact is going to be coming in right now. And uh, as I was just saying, um, I am going to test our new jingle live. I've got a, a way that hopefully I can play it live at the mailbag, and then I don't have to do any editing afterwards. I can just upload the archive and make my life much simpler. Um, the trick being, I haven't really tested this, it could end up being either really quiet or really loud. Oh, so, no. yeah, be ready at your volume control and then uh, give me some feedback on the chat if it does work and you hear it, whether it was too loud or just right compared to my voice where I'm speaking, okay? All right, here we go. Let's see. Five second warning. Uh, that was, that was your five second. Okay, we'll do a countdown. We'll see. It may, may not even go when I finish the countdown, but here we're going to do a five second countdown to possible loudness. Five, four, Three, two, one, go. Kitten Academy, where you wanna be when you are a On a Saturday, they can pump the time for the mailbag. <laughs> we'll get this down to a science, believe me. All right, now it's done. Thank you. All right, I think that worked. Let me know how the volume was. And, uh, yeah, we did talk over it, but I saw that it looked right, so we got that going right. for us, which is nice. Yeah, but we couldn't hear it here, so. All right. Um, so today is a big Loud day. Victory. Loud but great. Okay, we'll turn it down for the next one. We'll just take a note on that. Wasn't that loud? So. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, but now we got the whole thing going. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Um, so today's a big deal mailbag because there are two big, three big events going on uh, three today. Three big events going on <laughs> in here. I don't need to smell about those events. DJ's putting pointing at the litter box when she said that. Three There's yes, three kittens happening almost. The three things that are going on right now. Uh, first off, this is our two-year anniversary of the live stream. Uh, we've been actually fostering kittens for closer to three years, and Kitten Academy. Uh, the name came around, it's almost two years old, but not quite, but uh, today or yesterday was the two-year anniversary of when we started the live stream, which has been going continually for two years, and a lot of the mail that we got is um, congratulations on the two-year anniversary. Look at all of these letters that we got. It turns out that there was apparently a, sort of a letter writing campaign that somebody organized. I didn't know about it, but now it's obvious because all of you sent letters. There's a ton of them. Uh, we also, it's also a red letter day because um, we just made it official that Maggie is now part of our faculty. Maggie is our cat and we are going to keep Maggie forever. So uh, that's a pretty big deal too. We're really excited about that. And a lot of you have sent stuff for Maggie's adopters in previous mailbags. I've got a giant box or a couple giant boxes in the basement that are set aside for Maggie's adopters which is us now, and I don't feel right taking that stuff necessarily because I don't think we need it as much as some other people do. So um, we'll go through it, see if there's something that's really unique to Maggie. If so, we'll give it to her, and if not, we will redistribute it to future adopters. So thank you guys so much for that. It's really wonderful. Uh, finally, the other big deal is that, as you know, this is graduation weekend for some of the bath kittens, uh, the boys and their moms specifically. And there is going to be adoptions today at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and then shortly after 3, and then there'll be another adoption tomorrow. And by tomorrow night, we will only have the girls left, uh, Bubbles and um, Fawcett. The girls are staying behind a little bit longer, even though they also have adopters. They weren't ready to be spayed yet, so they've got to stay um, an extra amount of time. So, to put all that together, um, we're going to have to mix things up for today's mailbag because there are a ton of letters and there's also a fair number of packages and at least some of these packages I know are for the kittens that are getting adopted this weekend and I want to make sure that we get through all that uh, in time. That's really important. So even though we normally open with the letters, uh, this time we're going to jump straight into the packages get all the packages out of the way, and then we're going to wrap up with the letters. And if there is, uh, if there's more letters than we have time, we will do the rest of them in a special mailbag edition probably tomorrow morning. Um, so we'll see how that works out. What do you think, DJ? Good plan? Bad plan? Good plan. Okay, so that's our plan. That's what we're going to go for. 
So that means I am going to... Did you have any requests for Boston? I only have the request that I told you to do one last. Yeah, this so is what I want. First. Okay, so we're going to start right here. So like I said, we're going to jump into the boxes first. I know it's unusual, and if you sent us a letter and you were waiting to hear it read, um, I am so sorry that we're putting you off in favor of the adopters, but uh, you guys can watch anytime, as, uh, whereas the adopters are on a very specific schedule. <laughs> so I, I re I'm sorry if anybody's disappointed by the, the way that we've got to do this, but I, I really think it makes sense. So. All right, so here we have a really cute um, box that has these little cat face drawings all over it. Adorable. And I don't know why DJ asked me to open this one first. Oh, there you go. But let's find out. I just told you what. Why? There's something to go to. Oh. The people who sent this have something to go to. All right, we have a note here. It says, okay to read. With a smiley face, which I like. Uh, it's okay to read, but can I get it open? <laughs> there we go. Okay. It says, Dear Kitten Academy, congratulations on your two-year anniversary. I've been watching the live stream since the textiles and think that what you guys do is great. We've enclosed some treats for humans and cats to celebrate. The human treats are locally made here in Washville. I think this says Washville, Tennessee. Why? Nashville. Oh, I see it. Nashville. Oh Why? I don't know how I did miss. I read that because Nashville's obviously a place, um, but that's fine. Hugs to the kittens. Uh, from yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's Wash, Wash from Washville, right? Wash is from Washville. He knows all about it. Uh, from Ashley and Scott, who are Team Ash Scott on Discord. Team Ash Scott, thank you guys so much. Uh, let's see. So we have Temptations, Treats for Cats, Savory Salmon Flavor. We have, oh, the Brittle Brothers Bacon Brittle made with real bacon made in Nashville. Wow, I cannot wait to try that. I'm guessing DJ's probably going to skip it. But she might try this one, which is the Brittle Brothers Cashew Brittle. Which is, for, for DJ, that's basically cashew chicky, right? Um, I don't think they make always cashew. Oh, well, now they do, right here. So this is what, the one you would get. A uh, chicky is a, is a Indian sweet that is sort of a, it's like a brittle. It's like a, it's like a brittle, but they make it with um, slightly different sugar. So it, it's got a little bit of a different flavor too, but it's basically Indian, like, brittle. They make it with peanuts. And they make one with sesame seeds that I really like because I'm a big fan of sesame seeds. So anyway, sorry. Uh, we also have Temptations Tasty Chicken Flavor. So we've got two people treats and two cat treats. Oh, and one more. It says, instantly talk with your cat fruit gum. What? Yes, share intimate dreams and fears, stock tips, and recipes. Interesting. Directions for use. Just one piece unlocks the dialogue between you and your pet. Wow. Warning, under no condition should you use this product while operating a laser pointer. And it says, uh, directions for use. For enhanced communication with your feline friends, apply directly to the hole located between your nose and chin. Do not overuse product. You only need a whisker. May feel urged to stalk mice and birds, chase loose threads, lick plastic bags, or walk on jigsaw puzzles. You may experience increased fear of vacuum cleaners, be abnormally suspicious of any new object or visitor, and go ooh, uh, crazy if anyone tries to rub your stomach. If you cannot decide whether to stay in or go out, reduce dosage. Interesting. A gum that lets you instantly talk with your cat. Uh, that's, that's really cute, actually. DJ looks super intrigued. I think she's anxious to try that one. Not that she needs the gum. She does it anyway. Can I try some of this bacon brittle right now? Can I try oh, I'm gonna try the gum. No, no, I don't need the gum. I'm busy talking to humans today, but I do need to try some bacon brittle. Hi, buddy. It smells brittle. Ducky, ducky. Ducky, ducky. Oh, whoa. That's very bacon. Wow. Brittle Brothers bacon brittle with real bacon made in Nashville. There's some serious bacon going on in there. It really tastes like sweet bacon, like, like you know, if you're having breakfast and you get some syrup in your bacon. 
No. There's also peanuts in it, I guess, to fill it out. So you got some peanut going on there, too. Wow, that's really good. That's a very smoky bacon, too. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much, Team Ash Scott. That's really cool stuff. And what are you looking for? They've done stuff before, haven't they? I'm pretty sure they have. From Washville, you know, right? You got the address there in Washville. Okay, um, let's move along. I guess I'll just grab whatever's near. Hi, Fawcett. What you got? You got a spring? It's a cute spring. Well, oh, okay. So we did get a couple packages that people sent to us. And the packages, um, so every now and then we get, um, we hear from somebody that wants to send us something, but for whatever reason, the person that's shipping the product will not ship to a post office box. This happens on a pretty regular basis these days. So what we tell them is if they'll only ship to a business or their home address, send it to On Angels Wings in Crystal Lake, care of, uh, or Kitten Academy care of On Angels Wings in Crystal, Crystal Lake with a big, like, Attention Kitten Academy on it, and it will eventually get to us. And that's what happened here. This went to 5186 Northwest Highway, Suite 133 in Crystal Lake, Illinois, which is the address for On Angels Wings, but you can just look them up online, On Angels Wings in Crystal Lake, and send something there. If it says Attention Us, the people at On Angels Wings will hold it for us, and it will come to us eventually. It will take a little longer to get to us if you do it that way but it will work. So here's a box from the Coffee Beanery, and it does not say oh, Jenny. who it is from. All it says is that it was bought on Amazon. I'm so sorry. Whoever sent this needs to take some credit for it. Oh, wow. This is really cool, though. Uh, it is a selection of 12 coffees in a tray, in a tin thing. Uh, really cool. Look at that. It's 12 little tiny coffee bags. Look at how adorable that is. Oh, those are cute. Yeah, little tiny coffee bags in a tray, and it says, let's see, we've got Vanilla Nut Cream, Colombian Supreme, Sinful Sunday, that's Sunday like ice cream Sunday, Caramel Pecan Pie, Creme Brulee, Breakfast Blend, Hazelnut, Hawaiian Coconut, mm. Amaretto, uh, Beanery Blend, English Toffee and Cream, and French Vanilla. Excellent. I know there's some coffee snobs that don't like coffee uh, flavored coffees. I am not one of them. I love flavored coffees. I think these are going to be a lot of fun to try out. Thank you so much, Mystery Sender. Um, I, have, I still have no idea who this came from because, like I said, there is no note. I just know that it came through Amazon. So, uh, if you sent this, please take some credit for it um, so that we can say thank you to you specifically. Or just know I'm thanking you right now from me to you. Thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy that. Okay. Next. I'm just... I'm just grabbing whatever's close here, folks. This was a drop shipment from Amazon, also. Hopefully this one will have a note. Is that over there? I don't know. I got a wash in front of me. Oh, I know what these are. Oh, but I don't know what that is. All right. That's a box full of things that are mysterious and things that are not. And a note. And the note says, two out of three. Okay, well, I can't read that note first, then, can I? Three out of three. Well, I think. You need one out of three. I suspect one out of three is in a different box because sometimes Amazon splits these things up. Oh, Amazon. Oh, no. But it's given away what the mystery item is. So uh, the mystery item here obviously goes with one out of three. So I'm going to have to set that aside and we will look at it when one out of three arrives. But. Um, uh, let me just start with the thing that, that we can do, which is these. It is the Yao Catnip Pollock Fish Catnip Toy 3-Pack. Now, we all know that Yao Catnip is the best catnip in the universe. They don't pay me to say that. They don't even know who I am. But it is true. And it says, 3 out of 3, a little something for the faculty and moms, since the kittens are a bit young to care for catnip. Here's hoping the smell soaks through the box to get pumice or faculty interested during mailbag. 
from Kalina, Tibet, Lily, and Humans. And I will set the rest of this aside until uh, it turns up, um, but I will give these notes to DJ. Here you go. I'm keeping one note, the two out of three note. Now, you do seem like you're already interested in this. Let me open these up real quick and see if somebody will end up taking them. Because you guys, you are a little young for catnip, but you guys were showing interest in catnip at a very early age. Okay. So put this in here. We will give these to the mom cats. Oh. Okay. Actually, let me take this piece off of this little plastic piece so nobody eats that. you guys think? You do like it, don't you? Maybe? Mm -hmm. I remember when you guys were still in the annex, you were already digging the catnip. Okay, I have no idea where one out of three is going to come through, but I am kind of excited about it because it looks like it's a sort of electronical thing, and I like gadgets. I'm a gadget freak. So we'll see. Okay. We will get to that. All right. Oh, here's something that has been here also. This also came to us a strange way. Um, this came to us, um, they was sent FedEx, and FedEx said, we won't deliver to a post office box, but they left us a note in our post office box and let us give them our address, and then they forwarded it to us, which was also nice. We'll do that, too. So this is coming to us a couple of weeks late. Um, I know it took an lo extra long time to get to us because of that. And let's see, there is a note here. Let me move this out of the way. Hey, what do you think of this? It says, OK to read on stream. So we like that. Oh, wait, I wanted to say something about that last package. Um, Tibbet must be one of the pets, right? And. I had a pug, not a pug, a Pekingese, when I was a little boy. I must have been in first or second grade. My mom had a Pekingese named Tibbet. I don't know what that name means. Maybe it must be, I didn't know it was a, like a name that people used, but Tibbet, T-I-B-B-I-T. -B -B -I -T. It must be from a book or something, knowing my mom. Maybe it's a name for somebody from something. Anyway, yeah, so we had a, we had a Pekingese named Timmy, so that's really cool. I haven't thought about that name or that dog in a long time. Okay, here we are. Um, Dear Mr. A and DJ, I stumbled across Kit Academy's live stream sometime last April or May when Song's Kittens were about four or five weeks old. I'd honestly never been so happy with a YouTube recommendation before that day. I immediately fell in love with the quince and knew I had to show other cat lovers mainly my mom, this wonderful channel. It didn't take long for watching close-ups and mailbags to become family bonding time. Even our two cats watch with us occasionally. We love all of them, of course, but some of our favorite alumni are Mandolin, Waltz, Kazoo, Garbanzo, Eucalyptus, Eclair, all the mom cats, and the fake mom cat, Cashew. Yeah. We wanted to show our appreciation for the both of you, the faculty, and all the delightful kittens we've watched grow up with this little box of goodies. The cat toys may be dispersed as you see fit, the rope toy for sweet Elsie, and the two shirts for you and DJ. For anyone who wants to know, the shirts came from MyMeowPal.com, our family business. That's uh, MyMeowPal, M-Y-M-E-O-W-P-A-L.com, our family business. Uh, thank you so much for helping these sweet animals get off the streets and into loving homes. Kitten Muse from Natasha, Tanya, Scott, and our furballs, Bailey and Lacey. Well, thank you guys so much. I'm sorry this took an extra long time to get to us because FedEx didn't want to uh, bring it to our post office box. But like I said, it did get to us eventually. And I wondered why there was a, a personal letter in a box that was from my business. It says My Meow Pal on the outside, so this threw me off just a little bit, but now I get it. So first off, we have a rope toy for Elsie. It says Lufa Dog, multi-pet dog toy. Lufa Dog. I don't know why it says Lufa Dog, though. There's no Lufa here. It's just, just strings, but it's a dog, and he's kind of cool. I like him. He's very pink. Kind of reminds me of Clifford the, Clifford the tiny pink dog. 
Cliffy, Cliffy the tiny pink dog, not Clifford. Okay, here we have a Smarty Cat Skitter Critter, three mice. We have springs, always a hit. Springs are good. We've got uh, one, two, three packages of springs in two different sizes. And we have a Happy Dog Place Catnip Grab Bag. Looks like 24 assorted tiny catnip toys, including one Charlie ball, which I see. And there's some stars and a little leopard ball and a bunch of miniature kickballs. These are great. These, I think, might, uh, they might end up going directly to the annex where they need more toys. More, more toys. So much more. All right. One more thing before we get to the special t-shirts. There is a Hearts Just for Cats Peek and Play pop-up tent. Well, this looks absolutely perfect for kittens. It has three different windows, hanging toys, and a crinkle mat. This looks, this looks great, actually. We might have to also deploy this right away. We've got a lot of stuff, though, that we're hanging on to for, for deployment in future classes, but I'm excited about this one. That looks really cool. All right, now we have our two special t-shirts from My Meow Pal. My, My Meow Pal. And let's see what they are. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we have sizes. We have a large in blue, which must be for me, and we have a medium in pink, which must be for DJ, because that's what makes sense. And this blue one says, oh, let's make some room so we can all see it. Oh, it says Cat Dad with a cat as the C. Yeah, that's really cute. I like that a lot. That's a very neat cat, too. Cat Dad. And... and that's very sweet. Thank you so much. Stop it. And then we have a pink one for DJ that says cat mom. cat mom with a cat for a C. So we can match. We can go out together and match and be cat mom and cat dad. I like this. I like this a lot. Thank you so much. I like the matching blue and pink cat mom, cat dad. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start consolidating things right now by putting your stuff in this box, and then thank you guys so much. Wow, that's really sweet. Um, and you, you were Natasha, Tanya, Scott, and the Furballs, Bailey, and Lacey. I'm sorry, I had to look again, but you know, uh, that's how it is. Okay, now I'm going to put the fish in here, too. Take this tiny box and put some garbage in there. Okay. We're going places. We're making this work, folks. Okay, thank you so much from my meow pal and uh, the folks there. Let's put this out of the way. I don't think there's an address on there for you, but there might be. Here is another box that came directly to our house, this time because it is from Brew. As you can tell from looking over here, it's got her catchphrase on it, much love, squeeze a kitten for me. And it's already open because Brew told us that uh, we should open it and take out the cookies. There were cookies included, and I already ate all of my cookies that were included. I think DJ's still working on hers. She put them in her cookie safe so that I couldn't have any. But there was something else in the box, too, which we did not observe yet. We saved it for the mailbag. Aww! I know exactly what that is, but how did you find one? I didn't think they were making this particular kind anymore. Let's find out. What's that? It is Chain Chomp, yes. Oh, look at this card. That's a uh, laser cut. It's really cute. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, look at that. That's amazing. Okay, hang on. Let me read the card to you first. Oh, my goodness. It goes even further. Dear Chris and DJ, happy second anniversary. Here's to an amazing year three. Thanks for all you do. Love, Brew. P.S. Hashtag return of Chain Chomp. So this is the same uh, ball bed that we had a long time ago that I think we retired because it had been washed a few too many times. And we have one of these linked on our website for the stuff kittens like, but they don't, as far as I know, they don't make this exact model anymore with the navy blue and the polka dots. So I don't know how 
Drew found this one. But they do make a lot of other models that are easy to find, and they're all basically the same, and they're really cool. Now, check out this card. It is a mom cat carrying her baby cat in her mouth and putting it into a basket. It is a pop-up. The basket already has a kitten and some yarn in it, and she's got another kitten in her mouth. How cool is that? Plus, there is a bonus here. If I pull out this tab, it has paw prints from Haley, Jane, Oliver, and Vader. Look at all the floof on those paw prints. Those are some very floofy cats. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Brew. Yeah, I'm going to give you the whole thing to look at. Oh, I'm going to put this back together though before I do. If I can, I... Wow, you take it out once and then you just... Do that the right way. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Alright, now i got it back together. How cute is that? That's just too adorable. I love this. This mom cat looks so happy carrying her little baby. And the little baby's got this really worried look on his face. Oh, it's too cute. That is too cute. Wow. That is the cutest card ever. Okay, so uh, let me give you this card. We can use this box maybe for stuff since it is otherwise empty. So I will add this one here. Aww. He does look like he's in trouble. He does look like he's in trouble and he knows it. Can you put this chain chunk in that, or on that box, maybe? Uh, not yet. We've got that orange ball in here right now. Yeah, but, but that doesn't, it's not I know, I know it's not the same. It's not as fun. You don't want to put it out? Okay, I'm trying to make room for this stuff, folks, and I'm having a hard time. So we have a princess sleeping in the castle. Hi, just bubbles. Okay. Alright, so this is now my trash box. Alright, we're working on this. Good, okay. Well, let's see, what's next? Uh, I'll just go here. This says Greater Good. Give where it matters. And it is addressed to DJ at Kitten Academy specifically. Greater Good, okay. Well, let's see what we've got in here for the greater good. Aw, oh, <laughs> drawn cats into the greater good logo on the top, too, which is cute. So cute. Okay. Somebody's what trying to get into my discard pile. Oh, wow, this is, this is overflowing, and there's a packing list and a note. So let's start here. To DJ and Mr. A. <laughs> That's cute. It's a cat who's gone cross-eyed to look at a ladybug on his nose. That's really, really clever. It looks like a real photograph, I know. Maybe it is. Something's been bugging me, so I sent you a package. I get it, Lisa. Uh, I'm bugging you. I get it. Uh huh. Okay, okay to read on the stream. And it says, Dear DJ and Mr. A, this parcel breaks a couple of rules. It contains some chocolate for Mr. A. As someone who also likes hazelnut, I couldn't resist. So I'm addressing this parcel to DJ so she can dispense the treats as a reward for good behavior. Oh, oh. All right, now we talk about some of the other stuff that's in here. It says, I came across the sparkly cat pillow in the store. When I saw it, I was thinking, I bet DJ would love this. Finally, I decided to give in and just send it to you. There are also some things for Elsie, too. If Elsie doesn't want to give the squirrel a go right away, it could keep the cre creepy reindeer company for a while first, maybe. Please get a picture of her with the rope bone if she likes it. The Frisky's cat food is something some fosters here hit upon for getting kittens used to eating wet food. They'll lick the gravy. You should be able to find a feline who'll finish off the solids if the kittens won't eat those. I'm not sure it's the most nutritionally vet approved food, but at that stage, the kittens are mostly nursing anyway. The cable tie is for the hanging carpet scratcher, so you'll have some flexibility on where to put it. I removed the plastic tie fasteners from the toys. I think they're dangerous ever since one of our cats got one stuck in her teeth. 
There are three fling rings with greetings from our fluff and furby. They love theirs. One for each room and one for the faculty. Custard, maybe? I had originally planned the toys and treats for the bath kittens, but now Frolic's kids are already big enough, so I'll leave it up to you who gets what. I came to Kitten Academy when Catman Chris dropped off Gracie. I've been following the kittens ever since. After a while, I showed my husband the live stream, and now we're both hooked. Thank you for doing what you do for the cats and kittens, and thanks so much for letting us watch. Meow, from Lisa, Minnick, Fluff, and Fermi, who is Lisa Four Kittens on Discord. Lisa Four Kittens on Discord. All right, so here is the packing list. Oh my goodness. All right, wow. I like this. This is a, the next level of organization for our uh, cat stuff. Oh my goodness. So this must be the sparkly cat pillow. And it is very sparkly. Wow. And sequins. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god. That's awesome. That'll have to go on one of our sofas or something. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. I love those little ears too. The ears are the cutest part. Okay. I'm going to put it back into this plastic bag though for now. So it doesn't pick up a ton of cat hair before it's time. Of course, it will pick up a ton of cat hair later on. I'm sure of that. That's so sweet. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for sending that. And... Oh, but wait. There's more. Okay. Treats for Mr. A in a treat bag so that DJ can supposedly dole them out. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So one is a... Chakur Hazelnut Crunch. Oh, wow. That looks super fancy. We've got five bars of, five bars of Hazelnut Crunch. What is possible? Awesome one of the lamps. One of the lamps? Ridiculous. Whoa! And a Geffen brand dark chocolate hazelnut bark. Wow. That looks amazing. Thank you so much. And it's true, I am a big fan of hazelnut and a big fan of dark chocolate, so that's going to be great. Um, also, there's some more people treats in here. There are some Werther's Original Chewy Caramels. Caramels, one of DJ's favorite snacks. She's going to really dig that. I don't know how you knew. I don't know if we've mentioned her love for caramels before. We have uh, two packs. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> a little horse today. We have two packages of Pure Bites cat treats. We have a dried chicken and a dried shrimp. They're playing in the, the box for the, the tub. Yes. Yeah, she wants it right now. Of course she does. Oh, nice catch. Okay. We have a Smarty Cat Perfect Play Cat Mat. Cat activity mat with raffia, catnip, feathers, and crinkle sounds. That looks like that'll be very fun for some kittens. Wow, there is a lot packed in here. Fancy Feast Natural Cat Treats. Uh, it says variety, chicken, tuna, and salmon. Barkley and Boots Donut Cat Toys. <laughs> Those are really cute. All right. Oh, more Werther's char cre blah, 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 blah. creamy caramel filled hard candy. Wow, you really packed this box full of stuff. All right, here is the squirrel mentioned, Roughin' It, the Roughin' It brand squirrel for Elsie. I get the joke there, Roughin' It. I get it. Oh, I get it. We have a Boda. Rope, Bone, and Tug Toy, also for Elsie. We have uh, two plastic ring things. I think we're, we're coming back to that, right? That was a part of something that you said, said in, the, in your letter was for hanging something, I think. We'll come back to that. We have a, ooh, oh, this is interesting. I have not seen this before. It is a Smarty Cat. Twirl and Peak. It's called Twirl and Peak. This is completely new to me, but I'm excited to see this one try. So, according to the box, what it is, it's this little electronic spinny toy that has a feather on top that spins around. Um, 
No, oh, I see. That's not a button to make it work in the package. Um, so the, the feather and the, the strings on top spin around, but then it also comes with a box that is just the right size for it to fit in with the feather peeking out so that it will spin around inside the box and make a lot of noise and the cats will be all attracted to it and the feathers stick out. That sounds like that's going to be an awesome, awesome cat toy, and that's a new one on me. Plus, there's a little catnip here that is just to get things started, I think. Here we have a Jackson Galaxy Ground Prey Mouse to use with a wand. We have a lot of wands, so that'll work out even if there's not a wand in here. I don't think there is, but don't worry, we got that covered. Here we have catnip-filled... Uh, fabric carrots, a uh, three count of fabric carrots that have, I can see the catnip on them, so there's catnip around there. Three catnip carrots, those are very cute. Here we have bacon and egg cat toys. It's just a bacon and an egg, okay. Oh, these are too cute. We have banana peel cat toys, they're little banana peels. Look at that, that's super adorable. And I think that'll make a really good cat toy, too. Wow, it keeps on going, though. Here we have the door-hanging Smarty Cat uh, cat Carpet Relief Cat Scratcher that hangs from a doorknob. And as you said, you've included a big old zip tie so that we can put it someplace that's not a doorknob if we want. Like, for instance, we've hung things like this before off of the cage. Might be a good fit there. Thank you so much for that. Wow, I can't believe all the stuff you fit into this box. We're not even at the bottom yet, although we're getting close. We have a Smarty Cat Catnip Cave Catnip Infused Paper Bags. And then it looks like there's one... Oh, not, no, wait, hang on. We have uh, Great Choice Cat Toy Springs. These are fabric-covered springs. A little different than the ones we usually get, but very fun. Good to give them some change once in a while. And then this must be the fancy feast that mentioned for the kittens. Oh, Friskies. I'm sorry, I, don't, I just um, I went to fancy feast automatically. It is Friskies. Friskies Tasty Treasures with Chicken and Cheese and Gravy. And there's a note on the top, and the note says, A couple of fosters in our area found that this works well with kittens to get them used to wet food. They'll lick the gravy off fingers or a spoon. They may not eat the solid parts at first. We think the cheese reminds them of milk. Well, we're always looking for something new to try, so we'll try that out. You also included a giant bag full of about a dozen of the Sheba brand signature broths. The very fancy stuff. Tuna, shrimp, and crab in clear broth. Wow. I don't know if that's for kittens. I think that's for the faculty and stuff. That's super fancy. Very cool. Thank you so much. That's the whole box. That is a lot of stuff that you sent. You sent a lot of stuff. My goodness, a lot of stuff. I don't even know how I'm going to fit all this back in the box, but I'm going to try. Kitten! I know, they're going nuts right now. Got a kitten campaign. I see. These look like little fun ring toys, then. I see what these are. Let's see oh, yeah. one out. Yeah. I'll put the other two back in the box for now, though. That looks like the kind of thing that Maggie... Oh! <laughs> Did you see Ducky hit it and jump? He's a little spooked by it, I think. Now he's going to take it. Okay. So, that ring toy also reminds me of the kind of thing that um, uh, Maggie really likes. So, we'll deploy one in the faculty. Yeah, like the yellow spring. We'll deploy one in the faculty area. I think she'll get a kick out of that. That is a lot of stuff that you sent, Lisa. Thank you so, so much. I might have to try some of this hazelnut brittle right now before it goes in the box. Because DJ got to try her caramel, so why shouldn't I get to try this, right? Right? I'm not actually looking for an answer. Oh no, there's no easy way to open it. Sign me. Are you on the fourth one? Oh wow, this is like a real dark chocolate brittle with ha full hazelnuts in it. Full roasted hazelnuts. Oh, oh. oh that's very good. Well, I don't know what that is. DJ's on 
her fourth caramel over there. She is a caramel addict. She likes the soft caramels. Mm. That brittle is very good stuff. Wow. Thank you so much. No, we've gotten through quite a few, actually. We're doing very well. I wonder if I should separate... Well, okay, I'm not going to try to start over again. Right after the mailbag, we've got to take all... We've got a closet <coughs> full of stuff that you guys have sent in previous mailbags for these kids. We've got to get all of it out of the closet and separate it out so that the doctors that come today can take some of it home with them. It is a ton of stuff. These kittens are so lucky. Is there an address on here that you need? Give you this whole stack for a minute. Sorry, here, you want to hand me that box? I'll shuffle them around. Oh. Good. good, good. Okay, there we go. I don't know if you guys saw my mug today. It is the, the Angel's Fish Mug. It has a picture of Angel and all of her little kittens on it. So cute. Sad to say that we had two of those mugs that were given to us and one of them did not survive. That happens sometimes. The mug got a big old crack in it. I don't just mean the coffee. Uh, what? I don't know. All right, here's a box that says nuts.com all over it, and it says all kinds of ridiculous things on it. But I think it's repurposed because I don't see any nuts in here. I see one. Oh, 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 oh nice. Very nicely done. Okay, this says, okay to read on the air. Happy anniversary, Mr. A and DJ. Enclosed are three real fur mice toys and a fake fur pong toy. We would have bought more, but they're so popular at my local pet store, they sold out. Perhaps one real fur toy for each group to fight over, one for the faculty, one for the annex, and one for the main room. The two glow-in-the-dark balls might be fun for the kittens and viewers to watch when the lights go out. You can also stuff them with a treat stick. And if the fur babies aren't interested, maybe Elsie would enjoy playing evening fetch outside when the weather warms up. Silver vine shoe sticks are for everyone, safe for Mr. A to try if he so dares, although he may find the roasted squash seeds more to his liking. A bag of assorted toys are to be distributed as you see fit. Lastly, two local newsletters for your enjoyment. The Citizen paper highlights what makes our hometown so special. Love always, the Chinchilla family, Daisy, Dewey, Hershey, and Hutroy. And then there is a drawing of Hershey and Hutroy here. The two chinchillas at the bottom with their big old chinchilla tails. And here we have a newspaper from Arlington, Virginia. A leader in sustainable energy use. Great place to live, although expensive. And they have an article here that has lead platinum for community certification. More people, less uh, energy, less water. Interesting. Oh. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions, managing stormwater, and ensuring economic prosperity. Very cool. Despite adding 22,000 new residents, total energy and water use has actually decreased. Well, that's very impressive. There's also another newspaper here that says, do not read this on the air. It looks highly entertaining, though. <laughs> so, thank you for that. Oh, my goodness. I will definitely check that out, though. That looks, that looks very interesting. Okay. All right. Let's dig into the rest of what's going on in here. 
Oh, ducky. Okay. Oh, look, there is a nuts from nuts.com. That's what this is all about. This says, in 1929, Poppy Soul started a small nut shop, and 70 years later, his grandson, that's me, Jeffrey, took over the store online. Our family's still in this business for one reason. We're nuts. Oh, no, it says we care. Sorry. Welcome to the family. <laughs> so, nuts.com, roasted squash seeds, salted in shell. Mm, have you ever had roasted pumpkin seeds? No, oh, well, they're probably almost the same. I think you'll like them. They're here. Let's, let's have a couple. Let's just pop this open right now. Why wait? This is a lot, though, by the way. I think a lot of squash probably had to give their lives to make this one bag. This Why do you have to say it like that? <laughs> what? I can't get this open. This really, it does not open. Wow. How? how why? Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's just like pumpkin seeds. They might even be pumpkin seeds. I mean, pumpkins are squash, right? Hmm. That's pretty yummy. Here, you can try a couple. What do you do? Just eat it? Yeah, just eat it. You want to try it again and then you open it? Nope. Eat the whole thing. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. It's an inside. It's <laughs> not an inside. Those are pretty yummy. Thank oh, you. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. All right, let's see what else we got here. A Boca Pet Real Fur Mice. Those are super popular. Two glow-in-the-dark balls from Chew King. Hail to the king, it says. Oh, those seeds, those nuts are super salty, though. Yeah. Here we have a 40, 40 pieces of silver vine. Wow, I'm going to set some of this out right now because... Um, well, uh, there's an inside. I just ate the inside. <laughs> is that how you want to do it? Is that how you want to roll? It says it's so salty. Okay. Are you sure? Do you know how to You did say I could eat the silver vine. I'm going to test it. You're going to what? Tastes like a stick. It just tastes like a stick. I just ate a stick. Okay, I'm going to leave a stick out for these kids, though. 40 pieces of silver vine. Wow, that is a lot. Okay. Here we have a fur pong. Oh, oh, this is cool. We use ping pong balls all the time, but this is a ping pong ball that has a little rattle in it and a fur tail on it. So that's like a ping pong ball extreme. And it's from GoCat, who makes all kinds of really crazy awesome toys. Fur pong. Here we have another real fur long-haired mouse. Oh, this one's a floof. They have a fluke version. And, oh, real fur mice, giant size. Wow, so there's, there's three real fur mice. And there's sort of a normal small one, there's a floofy one, and then there's a giant one. Interesting. And then we have this bag that says more pets, morepets.com. Oh, this is the bag of toys. Wow, there's a lot of toys in here. We've got uh, a couple of sizzle mice. S sizzle mice, I mean. Not sizzle, but sizzle. Uh, we have a ball with a feather on it. We have this one toy with a ball and a jingle bell that Ducky's already checking out. We have, oh, uh, a ball on a rubber spring. Looks like a stick toy without the stick. We have strawberries? I'm going with strawberries. They're not strawberry colored, but they're strawberry shaped with little pips and they have feathers. I'm calling them strawberries. Here we have fish with ribbons, fish ribbons. Wow, this is quite a bag of toys. There's still more. Can I have them? We have two sizzle, the, the more, the, the teaching. Two little sizzle rope balls. Here we have a crab. <laughs> you can tell from the little claws. Um, a little cylinder toy. And a star. 
and that is the entire bag of toys. That is quite a selection of toys. The More Pets, more-pets.com toy bag. I see you really want this, but look, this, this one's on a string, so I can't just leave it out for you. There was another one in here that was the same deal, but not on a string, right? There we go. Here's the one that's not on a string. Look, you can have this one. You want this one? Loggers can't come in. Oh, probably. Uh, yeah, that is him. He's just sitting at the door staring. Kind of creepy, actually. Loggers, that's sort of creepy, buddy. Wow, Ducky really likes this thing with the feather on it. Ducky. Look at this. Look at this ducker rope. Oh, Debbie, you like that silver vine? You want that? You want a silver vine you get? Ducky can't decide which thing to play with. Anything that gets Tubby out is pretty cool, though, because he's pretty shy. He seems to dig that silver vine a little, huh? Well, thank you so much. Wow, what an awesome box full of a ton of stuff. And it seems like DJ's got a, a new treat that she enjoys. She I don't know if I should eat the You should eat the whole, whole thing. You eat them all. Uh-huh. I'm so salty. Okay. She likes to just take the little seed out of the inside. I guess that works, too. Like, like eating giant sunflower seeds? Why not? I've never heard of anybody doing it that way, but it's probably not wrong. I bet there's a lot of people that do it that way. All right. Wow. Thank you guys so much. That is nuts.com. I mean boxes. Very nuts. And there's an address in the corner there if you want to take that. I got it. Oh, you got it. Oh. Yeah, oh, have they sent this stuff before? Yeah, two children. Okay. I thought that sounded familiar. All right. Hi, Fossey. Little Fawcett. Okay, next. How are we doing on time? Oh, just 50 minutes in, so we've still got time. I think we're going to get through all the boxes, which is probably the important thing. But I think we're going to save some or maybe all of the letters for tomorrow. <coughs> we can just have a letter thing tomorrow and just do letters, straight letters. What do you think? That way, if anybody wants to hear their letter read, they don't have to guess if they're going to watch today or tomorrow. Just tune in tomorrow and they'll know. What do you think? Oh, wow. Okay, well, I see what these are, because it says, who sent all these? These are great. Wow. You never have too many springs. And that's what these are. We have 10 pack of cat springs, 10 packs, but we have, uh, wow, a whole bunch of those. There's no note? Oh, there's the note. Hi, Frolic and Furballs. I hope you enjoy all these treats and toys. Love, Tahini. <gasps> tahini? Tahini, here you go. Wow, Tahini, thank you. So right here we have uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 springs. Six, zero, which is good because these eventually all end up behind the, the fridge or the stove or under the sofa. And yes, we can definitely use these in endowment bags. Thank you so much. 60, 60 springs. And you said toys and treats, so I'm guessing this is not the only package to you to me. But thank you. It's so nice to hear from the Persians. Yes, DJ is a big fan of the Persians still. She wants to she wants to issue her first kitten recall. To have them all come back. Yes. Okay. Who did give Tahini a credit card? Who did give Tahini a problem. credit card? <laughs> this can have over six packs This can have like, four. Yes. Oh, okay, to read aloud on the stream. Good. Okay. Dear Mr. A and DJ, hello and greetings from Washington State. We are in you and Kylo and Inkheart 411 on discard. Discard. <laughs> Thanks, card. Um, you didn't write Discord. I just said it. My mouth is not working right. It says Discord here. 
Uh, we are in you and Kylo and Inkheart 411 on Discord, and we just wanted to send in some things for bath time kittens and talent bags. In you and Kylo was formula, formerly in you and Ink, but now that Ink, Inkheart 411 has finally joined Discard, Discard for herself. <laughs> what is wrong with me? The name had to be changed. The last time we sent something in was back when Song's Quintet was at the Academy. Oh, somebody likes that silver vine stick. Pummy's, Pummy's digging it. Pummy, you like this thing? Huh, is that a good one? She does. She's going to chew right on that. Um, let's see. The last time we sent something in was back when Song's Quintet was at the Academy. We also sent the Loganberry Soda later on, and so we thought we should send in this box of stuff we've been gathering for a while now. So, the, by the way, the Loganberry Soda was uh, something else. We tried it. Jimmy D actually seemed like you really liked it. For me, it was it was way too sweet. Like, it's, wow, it was too much. Just like Loganberry, he's way too sweet, too. It's, it works out. The big box of Temptations should go with pumice, wash, and bubbles. That's this one right here. Big box of Temptations. The smaller bag of treats is to go with Frolic when she's adopted. Aww. That's the Temptations mix-ups. Thank you. Uh, that's not going to stand up. It's really not going to stand up. Okay, let's try that. <coughs> the pack of five little mice are for the baths. One for each. That's these five little mice right here. One for each. And can be for their endowment bags or given out to them before then. Your choice. I think we're out of time there. The little bunny is for Logan Bunny. Oh, and it's so Aww. cute. Look at that little bunny. Oh my god, that's adorable. Um, where was it? Little bunny is for Logan Bunny, but he can be given to whoever will use it. The turtle. This is the turtle. Uh, the turtle, uh, ball, and big mouse are to go with whoever you decide among Frog's kittens. So that's this ball and this mouse. It's a very cute mouse. Very cute turtle. Okay, so those are for Frolly's kittens. Um, and finally, the wellness kitten feud is feud. Wow, I really can't talk today. The wellness kitten food is for you guys to use, however, or you can put it in an endowment bag if you don't need it. Uh, this is great. Thank you so much. We've got a couple cans of the wellness food here. Since the last time we sent something in, Inkheart got two new kittens back in July 2017. They were five months old then, and by the time you get this, they will be a year old. Their names are Rabbit and Owl, brothers who were very attached to each other and so had to be adopted together. They were transferred to a Washington shelter from Hawaii and were adopted after having been with a family that had to return them to the shelter for some reason. They... Uh, Rabbit, not naming names though, are very clever and very mischievous and get into all kinds of trouble because of it, but they're a ton of fun and very snuggly boys. Inkart's 12-year-old cat Coco is grumpy about them being around, and she has a bit of a rivalry with Rabbit about who's in charge, but she's been seen giving Owl kisses on the head, followed by some grumbles and a quick nip to tell him he should go away now. Anyway, that's all we wanted to share. We hope the Baths and Frolics Furballs enjoy their toys. Sincerely, Inuit Kylo and Inkheart 411. And here's a picture of Owl, Coco, and Rabbit. Wow, Rabbit really looks like a rabbit. So this is uh, on the top. We have Owl and Coco, and Rabbit here is just really cute. Looks like a rabbit. I can see he looks like a troublemaker too, though. <laughs> look at those. Look at Rabbit on the bottom. Oh. Is he too cute? I know. He's super cute. He I bet he does. Very cute. Thank you guys so much for sending this stuff. I really appreciate it, and uh, it's just in time. This is why we opened this box first, or this opened the boxes first today, so we can make sure that we didn't miss any of this stuff. So let me make sure. Just, uh, I was going to label them the as giant. Giants and the mice are for baths, and everything else can go in the box. This one is it's for, for frolic. frolic, so these are, these are all frolic stuff, and this one is to go with pumice, wash, and bubbles. I'm just going to write that on here. Oh, uh, that didn't work, though. And then the mice, we can just split up for them. We'll, we'll set these aside.
aside. So I'm going to set this aside right now because that's as soon as mailbag is over, that is our next project is splitting that stuff up. Do you need their address or do you have it from before? No. Oh, here, let me put the note back in. There we go. Discard. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. We've got kittens climbing all over the camera. This mailbag is off the rails, everybody. Okay. Well, let's see what this is, because this says right on it that we have to open it. It says right here, it contains items for Ducky, Fawcett, and Tubby. Please open before adoptions. And I can see that somebody's already been working on opening it. Okay, let's see if I can open this without causing any extra damage to what's inside. Oh, wow. It is, it is definitely a tall stack of blankets, but... Okay, now I'm just, now I'm just wrecking with it. Okay. This is uh, very cleverly wrapped, though. Not often that we get a package that's this big that has no box. It's just wrapped. Okay. I think the note's on the other side, though. I kind of opened it upside down. So let's flip it over. And let's give this to DJ in case she needs the address that's on it. Okay. Got it? All right. We have a stack of blankets, and it says... Aw. Okay. So... The stack of blankets. It says at busy cataroo on Discord. Busy that's B-I-Z-Z-I cat a on Discord. Busy cataroo. Hi there, Mr. A and DJ. Uh, I've been a huge fan for over a year now. I first started following when the fish were born. I'm sending some cozy blankets for the kittens. Uh, I lost my place because I was distracted by these guys playing with the silver vines. Okay. Um, I'm sending some cozy blankets for the kittens and their moms. I have mailed the blankets directly to Pumice Wash and Bubbles. Oh. The blankets enclosed here can be distributed as you choose, but Ducky has his own special one. I love being able to keep up with all the graduates, too, on Discord and Twitter. The first thing I love to look at are the gifts. What a great way to start a day. Thank you for all you do and allowing us all to be a part of your life. Well, thank you, Busy Cataroo, for being a part of our life and for sending all of these fantastic blankets. I think I've mentioned how much I love putting things like this in endowment bags um, because they're just nice to have and uh, immediately useful for people. And this one says Ducky on it, and I'm guessing the reason is because it has these little ducks on it. So it's very cute. Thank you so much for that. And then let's just have a look at the rest. We have uh, these really cute cats, various types of cats. We have, oh, this one's really cute. Cats with arrows and hearts. Adorable. And here we have some smiley cats of various colors. All these wonderful polar fleece. Oh, this one's really cute, too. A little cat with a with a uh, rose on its head or a carnation or something. Very adorable. I like that teal color, too. Mint, teal, I don't know. And finally, a leopard print. Very cool. Thank you so much for all of those wonderful blankets. What is it? So, so there's just the one for Ducky and the rest go whoever we want. So I should set duckies with this stuff because uh, ducky is going today or tomorrow. So let me set out duckies and put it here. And then the rest of the stuff we will find a box for eventually as we go through this. Thank you so much, Busy Cataroo. These are fantastic. And uh, they are really going to like that. Here you go. It's got Busy Cataroo's address on it. Oh, you already got it. Okay, uh, for the moment though, I'm just going to set these blankets right here in front uh, until we turn up a box that we can use. 
This is really getting to be a mess, and DJ just cleaned this room so well. Okay, uh, where to go next? This is the one that says last, and we are going to do this one today. Yes, there is a Discord pile making fun of me. I can't say Discord or Discard. Oh. So what is this part of? Do you know? It came from with the stuff from On Angel's Wings, so I actually don't know. Oh wait, but somewhere in here there is a note that goes with some of those things. This is just, this is here it is. Wait, no, that's just part of it. Um, here, here it is. There's a note. No, there it is, right here. So let's let's go to it. It says, um, "This is to the okay." Here, let's have it. All right, let's uh, let's open this up because the cat's been playing with it too much, and uh, we just want to pull it out. So first off, this is a duck, I think. It says uh, multi pet, pet fun, uh, but it's the the same pattern as a stuffed animal platypus that I had when I was a kid. So that's kind of cute. And it says, "This is to the Elsie doggy from her little friend Major Russell." Me hopes that you has a very good time with the new toy. My friends love to play with it. Paw hugs from your friend to Mr. Major Russell. Um, and then there's some other stuff here that I think came with it. For instance, there's one here that says, uh, hang on, it's this. Catopoly. It says, Dear... Uh, DJ and Mr. A, something for you to enjoy on a quiet evening, perhaps, when you, or when you are having company, perhaps, from CatLad8807 slash Susan slash Major. And then there is one more item that says, Dear DJ, we thought that you might enjoy having a cup of coffee when you get a chance to sit and relax, in case it doesn't make it in this shipment. There's a package for Mr. A from Cat Lady 8807 slash Susan slash L Major the Dog. So here are those notes. And I think that must refer to this package, which says World Tea Collection. And I'm having, there we go, I've got to find my knife. Let's check this out. So these also came to us through On Angel's Wings, and I think uh, maybe they weren't labeled on the outside so On Angel's Wings would know, so they opened them up first and then they came to us kind of unpackaged. Uh, but they kept a note for us, which is good. Look how cute this is. This will look great next to our coffee collection now. It is a new me organic tea, world of tea collection. Travel the world with each sip. And it is, just like the coffee, this is a collection of 12 teas in a, a cute little container. I, let's see if I can open this up so you can see this thing. Wow, it's like, oh, this is a super fancy. It's a wooden box that's all handmade and strapped together. And let's see if I can get this open. Oh, I see. Oh, do I see? I do see. Okay. Look at that, and all these teas in there. That's a really cool box. That would be fun for uh, to keep like some cat toys or something in afterwards. I like that. Okay. How cool. Wow, you guys sent us some crazy stuff. Thank you so much. Uh, Elsie's really going to enjoy this, and we're going to enjoy the tea and the catopoly. And I will set all that back here for the moment. And uh, DJ's got your notes, so thank you so much. And uh, just like I said, uh, that went to us through On Angel's Wings. So that uh, works, as I was saying at the beginning. I gotta, I gotta get some of this stuff out of the way. Hang on. Issues with the size of all this stuff here. bigger box. We're going to need a bigger boat. Okay, there we go. Put that back there for now. 
We're trying. Who's growling? Is that Tubby growling about that little milk ring toy? Wow, he really likes that thing. Okay, well, let's make more of a dent in this. Here we have a box from overseas, I believe. There's a customs declaration. There's no return address, so it's not entirely clear. That's fine. Let's just get right into it. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It says, okay to read on stream. Dear Mr. A and DJ, a small thank you for all that you do for the kittens and for the joy you spread via the internet and perhaps to celebrate Maggie joining the faculty. Kindest regards, Ian from Worcestershire, England, Wor Worcestershire, Wor Worcestershire, England. We had the same conversation last time, whether it was Ian and Worcestershire or Ian and Worcestershire, or at any rate, Ian. Ian. <laughs> She's raising her eyebrows at me but not saying anything. Thank you so much. You have sent us, wow, the ultimate bag of Webox treat sticks, which I have mentioned we cannot get in the States, and the cats love, and I love them too. I mean, I don't love to eat them, but I love to give them out because they're very convenient and easy to distribute. Thank you so much. Wow, that's a lot. Yes, it is. It's the ultimate box of all the Webox cat sticks. They're very good. Plus... A box of, oh, like a display box of all of the dreamies, a dreamies selection box. My goodness, all of the dreamies. I am Ian Worcestershire. Thank you so much. Uh, these are fantastic. And dreamies are another thing that we can't get quite in the States, although I, I suspect that the temptations that we do get are basically the same. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for the dreamies. Thank you so, so much for the Webox treat sticks. Here, let's, I'm going to take one of these right now and eat it. No, I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to take one of these right now and see if these kittens want it, though. They're try definitely trying to get into the dreamies. Don't, don't get into the dreamies. There's no point in that. So we will use these all the time here for treats and also to put into some endowment bags for the people. And then the adopters will be completely confused because they'll be like, oh, my cat loved those and I can't even get them. Oh, you dropped it. She's trying, but it's a little big and she keeps dropping it. I should just tear off a smaller chunk. Here, let me cut that in half for you. Oh, there you go. No, drop it again. Maybe that's just how she does treats. That's sweet, though. Can you Google? Oh, Bluebells dropped hers too. Right here, Bluebells. Right here, right here. Oh, Bluebells wants it, but she can't figure it out either. They all like to drop it on the floor and then eat it. Bluebells is right here. There you go. Bluebells ain't it. Oh, Bluebells is like, pack off, Fawcett. This is mine. Boys, you guys want some? This is just for the girls. The girls are the ones that have to gain some weight, though, so maybe it's just girl treat time. Sleep. Oh, he's waking up for the smell. Look at that. <gasps> what? 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 It's like it's waking up when somebody's making bacon in the kitchen. Yeah, You're like, the and then you just leap out of bed. <laughs> I didn't know that happened in real life. It just happened. 
Holy cat. <laughs> just woke up and was like, whoa, what is that smell? Watchy. Oh no, Fossey, you don't have to get so angry about your treat. Not anybody else that gets near your treat. Ducky can have his own. Hi, Wash, you gonna join us over here for some treat time? Over here, Flossie's like, uh, that was just a magical treat that appeared around. <laughs> right. Maybe if I stay over here, another one will appear. And it did. Oh, now this is a, you know, this is a way. I was worried about Tubby not making friends with people. This is a definitely a way to make good friends with Tubby. Tubby, I found the way to your heart. It's the same way as to mine. Extra web box. Thank you so much, Ian. That is a wonderful gift, and these kittens are all, all over it. Look at that. They're looking for more, all of them. Even Wash. Wash is looking around his bowl where the two treats appeared like he might find another in there. Magically. He's definitely, he's really mystified. Where did these treats come from? Wash. Yes, Wash. Here, you've got the trash can. Can you put this in it so they're not trying to eat it? Okay. So you want me to do the Walmart box in the back next? Okay. Hang on, you kids. I gotta get all the way back here and get a box. Get back here. This says, ah! Oh, I have no room. I'm gonna have to do this in my lap. All right, repurposed Walmart box. It's got stickers all over it. Cats, tuna. We've got I Love My Cat and Candy and the Fox Lake Post Office crew. And uh, it's a very cute box. And I lost my little green knife to open it with. I really did lose it. Where is it? I don't know. Got a backup knife we'll use for a minute. I'm always losing my knife. Okay. Aw, it says Professor Maggie Moo. Aww. All right, let's see what it says. Yes! <laughs> Logan Bean. Little cat saying yes, and it says Logan Bean. It does look like Logan Bean. Congratulations, Professor Maggie Moo. Congratulations on gaining tenure at Kitten Academy. You were a good fit from the beginning and made yourself indispensable to the faculty and staff. Well done. Looking forward to your research in the fields of bread and verb studies. Maya Bestet. Thank you so much, Maya Bastet. And... That's such a perfect card. It is a perfect card. Oh, here's another note. This one says Kitten Academy. Okay. This one's very heavy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. It is, uh, it's one of those cards that has the, like, Fresnel lens on it, so when you move, it, it's animated. And it is a cat fighting cakes in space with a lightsaber. I know, it sounds like, what is he describing? Well, there it is. Hopefully you can see it moving. All right, inside it says, seize the cake. Happy birthday to the Kitten Academy live stream, Mr. A and DJ. Thank you for letting us into the wonderful world you have created at Kitten Academy. You are the best, Maya Bastet. And then there's a longer note that says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, congratulations on the second anniversary of the Kitten Academy live stream and on your newest tenured faculty member. I've sent along some homemade treats to help you celebrate. Please open the boxes to find out what they are. And no stealing DJs. Speaking of stealing, or at least hogging treats, it's become clear that DJ needs supplemental safe space for her. The enclosed Kinder Egg safe has the same combination as the cookie safe. Wow. I've also included a roll of door privacy film. I thought this could come in handy when you have mom cats that get upset by seeing the faculty outside the doors. You can put a piece of this film, cut a piece of this film to the appropriate size, 
It sticks by static, so it's reusable and repositionable. And the faculty can't sit on top of it like they do with the gate and towel setup. Well, that's it, except that I want to thank you again for everything you do for the cats and kittens who come to Kitten Academy and for creating a wonderful community. Give all the kitty spoogles for me and an extra one for Maggie Moo, my best dad. Wow, thank you. That's a very cool card. You are super sweet, and wow, what a thoughtful gift. Gifts, I should say. That's very clever. I can't wait to see this stuff. So, let's see. The kitten's cleared out from in front of me, so I can set this down. I still don't know where my little green knife went. You probably can all see it, but I can't. We have all of this paper here. Let's just Lots and lots of it. Oh, look at that, the way this is packed. This is adorable. It is so pretty. So let's start here. Here we have the privacy paper. It's in a roll. It's in a big roll. It's bigger than I thought it would be, so that's good. And it says, privacy film glass cling. Oh. Hey, that's very attractive, too. Windows doors, cabinet, shower doors. Okay. That's very nice stuff. And here we have an, the new English Dictionary safe. Yeah, so this one is, I can't tell if there's something in it or not, and I probably can't open it. No, DJ must know the combination though. You want to see if there's anything in there? There must be Kinder Eggs in it, right? Because that's why I thought it was going to be a Kinder Egg safe, as in yeah. it, it was in the shape of a Kinder Egg. No, it's... But it's not. It is a safe Kinder for keeping eggs. Kinder Eggs in it. Yes. No, I get it now. Okay. So it'll fit, it'll fit a Kinder Egg. Well, here you have a tube that says, DJ, do you want to open it and see what's in it? Here, I'll show it to the camera. And that's got to be the Kinder Eggs or something else. Treats. And this is, here we go. Okay, so this is, I have one too. <gasps> Mr. A. Oh, oh my. Maple Well, mine are even cooler. Mine are lemon, cardamom, <gasps> ginger, cat paws. Wow. Oh, they smell amazing. I really have to eat one right now. Look at this. They're each little cat paws. Mm. And they're lemon, cardamom, and ginger. They wow. smell. Oh my lord. Mmm. Look. Wow. You have to try one of mine. Here. Yeah, let's try it. Aw, look at that. What did they say these are? Maple Maggie's. Oh. They do smell super maple, and you know DJ does like maple. And uh, it might be a little hard to see this, but they are. Little cats that are white and gray, just like Maggie. And they are cat shaped. It's, it's a little hard to tell, but they are. You can tell. Oh, they're very maple. Wow. These are so good. Those are both amazing. My best up. Excellent cookies. My goodness. Mm. So many cookies. I know, and now we have a wasteland of uh, tissue papers here, which I'm just going to leave going. You should put all of those, because they're all color-coordinated and beautiful. Mm-hmm. Can you put it? Oh, it's okay. We can play with them for now. This is good. Okay. Look at you, Ducky. I got a glass Ducky. Ducky's very last cat now. And Wash is licking Ducky's toes. You guys just want more of these treat sticks, don't you? I bet you do. Maya Bastet, thank you so much. That's so some, many cookies. That's some great stuff and some great cookies. My goodness. Wow. All right. I brought a Diet Coke for when my coffee was gone, and uh, it's got the Kitten Academy logo on it, which was given to us by Carrie Ann, our On Angels Wings volunteer that helps out with the adoptions. She made that herself. She's got one of those uh, cry cut, or I don't know if it's cry cut or cricket. Yeah, I would say cricket. There's, it's like a little uh, CNC cutting machine, and it cuts these labels and stuff. She uses it to make really cool shirts and all kinds of stuff. She's a pro with that thing. All right. 
Well, where do I go from here? Let's see. These are all the letters that I'll hear. Do you, uh, I don't, this is getting overwhelming in here, folks. It's usually kind of bad, but this week it is especially bad. There's just so much stuff going on here. Uh, and by bad, I mean, I don't mean bad. I mean, it's good. Um, it's like, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. i got to get some of this stuff out of the way, though. So let's put this on top of the blanket. Oh, hey, there's my knife. I <laughs> found it. Okay. Washer. Hi, washy wash. Well, let's just go with what is closest. Here, do you have a collection of letters over there? These are the two from Maya Bastet. You want to put them with the cookies or something? All right, we got this big box from Chewy. It's not from Chewy. It's a repurposed Chewy box. Let's open it up. Oh, oh my. Oh, hey, look at that. Okay, there's a note on the top, but there's some very cool stuff that I'm super excited about in this uh, in this box. So I see one thing already that I'm super excited about. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, wow, this is familiar-ish. This looks a lot like the one that we just got. Hang on. This one has cats playing on a sofa. Aww. Look at that. That's adorable. Oh, wow, they're very pretty cats, too. And that just pops right up in there. Wow, people are really clever with these things now. Happy second anniversary. Just a few things to celebrate slash commemorate another year of successfully matriculating felines. Oh, can I say that on the air? <laughs> I'm trying. It's not working. Uh, let's see. This says, um, sorry, not sorry. So many things reminded me of a Kitten Academy moment. Uh, Pat. This is Pat M.M. Thank you so much, Pat M.M. That's a really cool card. And there's another little note here that says, feel free but not obligated to read on stream. It says, I work for a large company that not only matches my contributions, but also allows me to earn donations by volunteering. This includes the fostering I do. As fostering is a 24-7 task, hours add up quickly. Until such time as Kitten Academy is a formal 501c, hint, hint, I am directing my maximum annual contribution to On Angel's Wings. Pat and Mim, that's fantastic. And uh, it also gives me a chance to talk about us becoming a formal 501c3. Um, we have now completed step one with our lawyer, uh, which is that we have officially incorporated Kitten Academy um, as a uh, limited liability corporation, I believe. And we have been assigned a federal uh, employee, uh, EIN, employee identification number. I don't... Look, I don't know anything that I'm doing. Uh, I really have no idea. But uh, we, that is the first step. Then the next step will be to take that corporation and uh, turn it into a 501c3, which we are working towards. So we're making serious progress. I know I haven't talked about it in a while, but I was just kind of waiting until I had something you know really solid to announce. So, so we're working on it. Uh, anyway. Here we go. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is, so this is our favorite, uh, the original clamshell bed. Wow. Hang on a minute. And it says here, this was all alone on the top shelf, and I hope it has retained its structure. Because uh, the problem that we have had, and the reason that you haven't seen a clamshell in here lately, is that the, the employees at PetSmart, where you can get these, have been packing them in and um, they, they collapse the top, they turn the top inside out, and then it never stands up as well as our clamshells that we had in the room used to stand up. This one seems like it's in pretty good shape, so maybe we're finally going to have a clamshell back for our two-year anniversary. Clamshell and chain chomp. Yeah, yeah, clamshell and chain chomp. Wow, look at that. We're bringing back the, the bests. It is. It's like, a, it's like a, all the greatest hits 
right here. Hit parade. Okay, let's set that aside for a minute. Look at this ducky. Can I take a picture of this ducky? I don't know if you guys can see him past all this tissue paper. You gotta see him. I'm gonna post these two pictures on the Discord right now. But then we gotta get moving because we got a half an hour and we've got so many more packages to get through. So let's move right along here. So I don't know what all this is, but would you look at this? This says for Maggie's endowment. And it is literally cat bread. It is a pillow that is a slice of bread with a cat face on the front and a cat tail on the back. It is literally a cat bread. That is the cutest thing. Oh my gosh, that is really cute. I love it. I really love it. Huh. It is from Hashtag Collectibles, by the way, if you're looking for your own Maggie bread. Hashtag collectibles, and that's not hashtag like the symbol, like you would imagine. It's spelled out, hashtag collectibles, oh. cat bread. And their website is hashtag collectibles.com. There you go. That is so cool. Oh, my. Here we have a bag of ping pong balls that have the Kitten Academy logo on them. Now, we were sent a collection of these uh, a while ago, and they went into all of our endowment bags until we ran out. So, now we have more, and they're awesome. That, so cool. Um, Alright, I can't tell what also is going on here, but hang on. Here is a uh, cardboard cat scratcher that is a, hopefully, non-creepy reindeer, it says. It is a reindeer-shaped cat scratcher. Check that out. A reindeer shaped cat scratcher. Yeah, DJ is over there. She's looking very intense. I don't know what she's trying to figure out, but there's still a lot more in this box, so let's do it. Here we have a book. The book is titled Box Inspector and Other Important Jobs for Cats. It is a, it says, box, collect, box Inspector and Other Important Jobs for Cats is a hilarious and cute collection of cat comics, lessons, and insights. And there is a note here that says, time for the faculty to start earning their room and bread. <laughs> their room and bread. I like that. This is, oh, this is very cute. This book is dedicated to Kick Bella and Captain Floof. Captain Floof is a great name. Aw, these are cute little comics. What? what? Alright, well, what is it, Poppet? What are you looking for? Hmm. These are really cute little comics. This is a cute book. I'm excited about that. Okay. There is a mysterious cardboard box inside the cardboard box. Let's see. Oh. I see the Diet Coke logo. I'm unclear on why this would be here. to be <gasps> what are you kidding me with this i didn't know this was a thing it is actually a diet coke a diet coca-cola in a glass bottle and as the you know the share a coke with campaign that they've been doing it says share diet coke with kitten academy what share diet coke with kitten academy how do you do that i guess it's a thing that they let you do now that's the coolest thing, except that I can't have this. I've got to keep it forever. There are two of them in here. There's a second one, I'm sure, it's just the same. But let's find out. Share a Diet Coke with Kitten Academy. Wow. This is oh, this is like one step away from actually. Oh, this one says Share Diet Coke with Mr. A. <laughs> How cool is that? What? I know. That is so cool. I am. I'm one step away from actually having a product endorsement here. Um, wow, that's wow. cool. I'm gonna. I'll drink to that with my diet coke here. Well, they're a bottle. I know. So I can keep the bottle. Sure. 
but it's a little more special this way. This is so cool. It's a real glass bottle. It's the real Diet Coke. Wow. It's very official. Hmm. How amazing. Share Diet Coke with Kid Academy. Share Diet Coke with Mr. A. That's, that's very special. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, there's more. There's definitely more. Here we have a carrier covers to keep the tinies warm when they have to go out in the cold. It is an official cat carrier cover. Wow. Awesome. And it's really pretty. It's quilted. It's uh, probably handmade by Pat M.M. And uh, quilted. And it's got this excellent pattern. Thank you so much. We normally just, we're very ghetto about it. We just throw a towel on top and grab it with the towel. So this is going to definitely make us look much cooler to the vet. Oh, hey, look at that. Post-it full adhesive roll. I did not know this sort of thing existed. They are sticky notes that you just roll out to whatever size you need. It says something to cover those larger addresses where a sticky note will not do the job. I think wow. that's what it says. Where a post-it note will not do the job. Yes. Wow, I did not know that was a project product. You just roll it out the size you need. That's also super clever this is such a cool amazing box full of amazing stuff um all right next we have cats plus poop plus socks equals kitten academy <laughs> this is really weird um this is this is extremely bizarre uh, it does equal kitten academy though i mean it's perfect it's just also very almost disturbingly bizarre Why? it is a poop emoji but it is a poop emoji cutout. Uh, behind it is a cat wearing sunglasses, and it is on a sock. So it is a, a poop emoji cat wearing sunglasses on a sock. And uh, it's, it really looks strange, doesn't it? Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's cool. It's very cool. And it is a poop emoji cat it's sunglasses that, sock. It's that cat that looks like a hipster cat, right? It is, yes. Anyway, it's very cool. Uh, hi, Bubbles. There's a Bubbles in here now. There's a t-shirt. The t-shirt says, a medium because I have confidence you can do it. Wow. Well, I, I'm going to have to do it just to fit into this t-shirt. Thank you. I really, I've been way off my diet. It is not looking good for me right now, but I will, I will get back to the medium. Oh, this says my blood type is coffee. <laughs> That's perfect. It looks kind of big for a medium, too, which is good. Maybe I just won't wash it for a while. Thank you so much. There is more. There's more, more, more. Here it says, something for those that are arrow challenged. It is an arrow that says meow. Very cute. That's for DJ. It was arrow challenged. Here's a tiny little bag that says some tiny things. So that must be for DJ. Oh, it is some tiny things. <gasps> it's a tiny little cat bed with a tiny little uh, thing in it. And a tiny little cat scratcher. <gasps> and some tiny little cats to play with them and sit in the basket. Ow! How oh did my. You that? Wow, some of these are super tiny. There's a set that's extra tiny. I know. What? Oh, this one's like a pregnant mom cat. Oh my gosh. It's actually a pregnant mom cat. And it looks like mommy. Yeah, it does kind of look like mommy a little bit. Wow. I'm going to put them both in the basket together. Here we have what looks like... So it's a very tiny little cat basket with two cats that you can put in it. Plus we have a very tiny little cat scratcher with a ball that hangs off of it. And we have an even tinier, I mean, this is an amazingly tiny cat bed with tiny kittens in it. These are so small, you won't even be able to see them. And what looks like a collection of tiny, tiny cat magazines in there with it. Uh, those, are, uh, those are ridiculously tiny. DJ's going to be uh, super impressed. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm going to hand this over to DJ so she can look at it up close.
All right, there's still more in this. There's one more item here. It is wrapped in a meow cloth. Oh, look at this! It is a framed copy of the kittens. Yes, we have kittens poster. <gasps> what? <laughs> How cool is that? This comes up all the time on the Discord chat when people come in that are new. And it's uh, kittens. Yes, we have kittens. Almost too many kittens. Big kittens, little kittens, silly kittens, cuddly kittens, goofy kittens, <laughs> casual kittens, kittens with catitude, kittens with floof. Kittens with far too many beans. And then it's labeled here, kitten, 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 kitten. And well, there's one arrow that points at DJ and says, not a kitten. And it says, wow. Uh, something full of kittens. It's hard to read here because that didn't come out quite so well. I'll have to look on the chat to remember what that says in the corner. But anyway, awesome. Very awesome. This will definitely get hung up somewhere with all the other artwork that we have yet to hang up. Uh. We've got a little bit of a backlog of artwork, but wow, it's beautifully framed too. It's got nice little rubber protectors to protect your walls. Um, very cool. We have to hang yes, thank you so much. You sent a ton of stuff. Wow, that felt like a mailbag all by itself and such unique items too. So cute. The cat bread, the Diet Cokes, the My Blood Type is Coffee. In a, uh, in a medium, thank you for your faith in me, your misplaced faith, I'm sure. The Meow Arrow Box Inspector. Tons of custom-made ping pong balls. Uh, the hopefully non-creepy reindeer scratcher. I'm going to put right up in here. And, of course, my custom share of Diet Coke with me. I want to protect those long enough to put them someplace safe. Let's just see what I can do here. Tiny and the tiny things, yes, these tiny things, they're amazing. Okay. Let me give it a little. There we go. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much. That is fantastic. That's really an anniversary party in a box. So much great stuff that all of you have sent. Now we are 20 minutes from our cutoff time. We have one box and a bunch of envelopes left, so I think we're going to make it. Um, and then we've got a lot of cleanup to do. I say one box. There's a litter champ over there, um, which I'm not in a hurry to open. I might save that for next time. Um, but we need to get through some of this. Actually, well, I don't know. I'm going to open this. I think I'm opening this upside down. Let's see what we got. Good job on the packaging, Amazon. Oh! Oh, my! Well, I can see what this is. Oh, here's the note. Okay. Here's the note. It says... Hi, Frolic and Furballs. I hope you enjoy all these treats and toys. Love, Tahini. Mm. And that's what all the notes say. So thank you, Tahini. Tahini went nuts. Yes, Tahini <laughs> did go nuts because what we have in here are six, six Tower of oh, Tracks. Wow. They do need one of these, by the way. We should get one of those in there for them right away. And uh, it looks like that's what's in this box. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Yes, I'm not missing anything. Six Tower of Tracks wow. toys. Yes, and they don't have one of these in there yet. Yeah. They just have that silly little green one that they already like, so this is, they need one. one of these, and then you the whole thing? Yes. I will. Tahini, that's amazing. Thank you so much. I hope she doesn't get into trouble. I'm going to leave one out. Yeah, Tahini, wow, that credit card. Uh, okay, so this is for Frolly and Furballs. Frolic! Kittens. Perfect. Tahini, thank you so much. Okay, now with uh, 15 minutes, I am going to open some of these flat packages. So let me bring all these up here. 
and we're also saving this one. We were asked to save this for last, so we will uh, we'll do that last before we call it quits for the day. I think we did a pretty good job of making it through stuff. Hopefully, the rest of this stuff is more about the anniversary and not so much about the adoptions, because I'd hate to miss something from the adoptions that are happening today and tomorrow. Uh, here. Hey, Duckaroo, you're still just sitting here on me. That's very cute, buddy. Okay. This one has a drawing on it that says, Mr. A and DJ with the Kitten Academy logo. It says second anniversary. How cool is that? Oh my, okay, what's going on here? Aw, oh, four pumice and frolic. Um, four. For pumice and frolic, whoever, kitten or faculty, for during mailbag or etc. It is a Frisky's party mix. Party mix, whoa, that's super party. There's one other thing here. It says, welcome for Maggie. Aw, mm -hmm. Maggie gets her own special treat. It's purely fancy feast. It is a very fancy feast. Natural wild Alaskan salmon and white meat chicken entree in a delicate broth. Oh. In a delicate broth. Okay, now there's some papers here. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. We have the Kitten Academy second anniversary celebration word find. Oh, wow. It is a word search. I think we'll scan this and put it on the chat for everybody when we get a minute. And you find words such as kittens, faculty, DJ, acro, Eddie, Mr. A, YouTubers, Kazumi Network, Spoogle, Aduded, Newspaper, Close Up Stream, Academicans, Cat Run, Ari, Discord, Custaroo, Loganberry, Elsie, Graduation, Tunkaroo, Patron, Died, D-I-D-E, Died, K-A-Con. That's fantastic. Plus, there is a copy here of Forbes, the richest kittens in the world, billionaires. Bubbles. Look at that, that's Bubbles. Princess Bubbles. These are so sweet. Now, there's not a note here that tells who it's from, so I'm going to have to cheat by looking at their return address. Oh, this is from Sally Haylock. Of course it is. I should have guessed from the Forbes that we know. This is definitely the work of a Sally Haylock. Sally, thank you so much. These are fantastic, and they are really going to appreciate all of this. And that word find looks like a lot of fun. I think everybody's going to enjoy that one. Um, if you did not already post it on the Discord chat, I will scan it and get it posted on the Discord chat for everybody. Thank you so much, Sally. Fantastic. That's super sweet. Yeah, we know Sally from the chat and from Twitter, and she likes to do those sort of collages for every kitten that graduates. So it's very special. Okay. All right, hang on, there's some art in here. Read letter first. Okay, open after reading letter. All right, we can follow directions here. It says, Mr. A and DJ, congratulations on the second anniversary of Kitten Academy and on Magnolia's new faculty appointment. We, who are Knit and Kitten and Zimbo, have only been watching since shortly before Rue's arrival. But Kitten Academy has quickly become part of our daily routine, and we feel so lucky to have found the Kitten Academy community. You've really created something special. And of course, without Kitten Academy, we'd never have found Baba Ganoush, who has brought us so much joy. Please find enclosed a couple of gifts Baba wanted us to send you as anniversary presents. First, Enclosed in the envelope, there's an ad from a local printing business who sent a call out for pictures to their customers and have nabbed themselves a heck of a model for their latest round of flyers. What? It says open now. Okay. Even though it says open after reading letters, so I'm not quite finished with the letter. Okay, a little okay. bit of a mixed message. <gasps> wow. Oh, this is oh great. Oh, my God. Dollar bill 
printing. Relax, you're in good pause at Dollar Bill. We love our customers and we love their pets. Baba Ganoush is the cover model for this ad on the front Hi. and the back. Yay. It says, with 40 years printing experience, we make it easy. We love our customers and we love their pets. He is a model. Look at that. That's a really cute picture, too. And it is dollarbillcopying.com. I don't mind. You blocked out their address and stuff, but I don't mind. If they think Baba Ganoush is cool, we think they're cool, don't we? Yeah. Why not? Model Baba Ganoush. I know. That's wow. really cool. It says, then there is a smaller item taped below. Unfold carefully. <gasps> Oh, I see what it is. It's yes. I don't know if I even want to unfold it yet. I'll wait for DJ to do it in a safe place. I can read through this. It says for DJ Baba Ganoush Whiskers. Can't wait for KA Con Two Wrath of Khan, Jim Zimbo and Allison slash Knit and Kitten Jim and Allison. Um, yes. So uh, and I, so good chance for me to just mention to everybody. We are doing our second Kitten Academy convention. I've mentioned it a couple times, but it can definitely bear more mentioning. And if you want to attend the Kitten Academy convention, you can sign up right now. Um, but you do need to join us on Discord first, which requires joining us on Patreon first, which costs a dollar a month. Um, so check that out and get with us if you can. I think it's going to be a really good time. Last year, it exceeded all expectations. Anyway, thank you so much for that. Congratulations on your job, Baba. You must have a copy of that book that says Jobs for Cats, right? All right, this looks like a drop shipment from Amazon that may or may not be labeled. I don't see a note. There's no note. There is no note. Okay, well, let's see what it is. Oh, it is two pieces of tissue paper grass. Wow. Oh, I know. I know who that's from. Who is it from? From Chili. Chili? This is a great idea. Yeah. This is a really, really a great idea. It's tissue paper grass. It unfolds into a big mat of grass. We've got a mess in here right now, but we are going to try this, and it is going to be epic. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is going to be completely epic. I that's that's super exciting. Okay, I'm going to put those out of the way for now. Thank you, Chili? Question mark? Presumably, Chili. Okay, look at this. We've got we've got the kitten. Just uh, Tubby is just yeah. Oh wow, everybody's worn out. This mailbag's gone too long. We got. About five minutes left. Uh, I am going to save this for the very last, so we'll, we'll get to it. But let me see how many of these other packages I can get through. And I'm going to start with the, the bigger ones because they seem like they would be more likely to include something that has to go away today to one of the kittens. So we'll start here. Oh, nice, nice choice. <laughs> we have the continuation of the Churu Apocalypse. Huh? Here we have a bag of five Churu. And another bag of five churu. We are going to stuff people's uh, uh, yeah. endowment bags, thank you, with churu because we've got a ton of it right now. You can never have too much. It says, hi, Frolic and Furballs. I hope you enjoy all these treats oh and toys. God, tahini. Love, Tahini. Tahini, wow. I hope you sent yourself some tahini yeah. because this is the good stuff. I bet you did. Uh, okay, I'm going to put these right here because these are going to frolic and furball, so I'm just going to dump those right in there. Yes, thank you, Tahini. Wow. Okay. I wish I get through all of these. Let's find out. Oh, oh my. <laughs> these are cute. So here we have uh, tissue paper for the next time we do the tissue pit. Also drop shipped from Amazon without a note. Is this also from Chili? I don't know. Is that the usual kind? It is not quite the usual oh, kind. Wow. Here we have... Cute. Oh, if there's a note. I was wrong. Mm -hmm. It says a gift from Heather. Heather, whose last name I won't say, but you know who you are, Heather. Um, there's not the... Uh, 
There's no thank you note, though. Usually they put in a little note we can use to say thank you on Amazon. It's not there. Oh, you can keep her name, though. So these are some really cute ones. So first we have the Pink Party Tissue Paper Set, which will be very photogenic. We'll do one of these uh, with each set, and that way we can take some really cool pictures and video, and it'll look great. This has uh, one with hearts, one with polka dots, one with stars, and then two different shades of plain pink. And then we have another set that is sort of like the hipster mustaches, arrows, antlers, tissue paper set. That's exactly what it is. There is one set that has mustaches on it, as you see here. There's one set that has arrows on it, one set that has antlers, and then matching black and uh, sort of coral wow. colors. How is that even possible? I don't know how it's possible, but that those are going to be so fun for the kittens. Those are all relevant. I know. I know. Arrows, antlers, and mustaches. You're right. It's so weird. That, that is weird. Together. Huh. Maybe we just have too many weird jokes. Maybe. We've just reached like the, the joke saturation where you can say anything, anything and it will be relevant. Will be relevant. All right. I think we're going to actually get through these big things. Oh, here's one that's really big. Let's do this. Kitten Academy. Whoa. I'm sorry, Ducky. I almost dropped that on you. I didn't. I just almost did. Oh. Oh, wow. We've got envelope section here. We've got an envelope inside an envelope. Envelope all the way down, actually. There's nothing else in here, just envelopes. Big bubble plastic mailer with a really smiley cat on it. Look, there's, a, there's an opening tab here I can just pull, I think. Handle with air. Oh, okay, there's a note. Happy K anniversary! Oh, wow. This is a psychedelic... Oh, it's the rainbow unicorn cat with sparkles. Very sparkly That's rainbow sparkly unicorn like cat. That. I know. It's magical sparkly. Wow. You are as special as a cat acorn from Jennifer, a.k.a. Jenny Penny, on Discord chat. And Jenny Penny has included a note that says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, Happy K Anniversary! I am so grateful that you invite all of us cat fans into your house every day via the kitten cam. It has provided so much happiness for not only us, but for all of the amazing mom cats and kittens that are brought into your loving care. I have been watching since the song and dance class and have really enjoyed watching all the kittens grow into feline nominal Kitten Academy graduates. Included are a few small gifts to be distributed as you see fit, and I hope that the kitties will enjoy them. Thank you both so much for all you do. Jennifer, a.k.a. Jenny Penny, on the Discord chat. I love this card, Jenny Penny. I love the cat acorn. The rainbow cat acorn is beautiful. Okay. So, what have you sent us? You have sent us Sheba meaty tender sticks with a salmon flavor. These are very good. In fact, we've got some of them right here that we've been giving out. Fancy Feast duos with real salmon. Wow, crispy outside, tender inside with salmon and accents of parsley, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Fancy. I don't know. Here we have Pure Balance Gourmet Cat Treat Starters Poached Salmon Recipe in Broth. That sounds super fancy. Delectable Stew Senior Cats for Digestion and Kidney Support Lickable Treat. Well, that sounds perfect for somebody we know. Little Smuggy with her kitten, her, who is a senior with some kidney stuff that she needs. That's great. Delectables Bisque Lickable Treat with Tuna and Veggies. Creamy blend of succulent tuna and vegetables. Oh, there's more. Oh, wow. Astro Nip. We have an astronaut cat and a spaceship toy. These are so <laughs> cool. Look at that. It's like a rocket with a... Look at that rocket. How cool is that? A rocket, and then we've got an astronaut cat in a very shiny cat spacesuit with his tail, and he's got a little helmet. 
with an antenna on top and his little happy cat face. Those are so cute. I completely love that. All right. Oh, and there's some more treats here. We have another Delectable Stew Senior and more Pure Balance Cat Treat Starters, Salmon and Tilapia. Oh, very fancy. The Delectables Chowder with Tuna and Whitefish. And one more Gourmet Pure Balance Flaked Tuna and Shrimp. Wow, those almost sound so good. I want to eat them, or maybe I just need lunch. Thank you so much. This is the coolest, by the way. I love it. I don't know when we're going to put that out. I want it to be a special occasion. Oh, well, maybe we can get it. You know, we wanted to get another Jackson Galaxy thing. This would go really well with the space station, wouldn't it? Very cool. Thank you so much. Uh, do you want the address and stuff, DJ? Yeah. No. Oh, there's no address. Oh, there is an address. It's on here. Here you go. Thank you. It's such a cool card, too. Wow. Thank you, Jenny Penny. Okay. All right, that's it. We're out of time. I'm going to do the last, and then all of our letters are for tomorrow, plus these three big envelopes. So that'll be tomorrow, folks. Um, but we did say we would open this one last. This is from TFP Tech or TFP Tech's family. Here we go. My knees are killing me, by the way. I think two hours is my limit for mailbag. Oh, wow. What an interesting card. You can already see this is very interesting. Okay. Press here. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Place the eye of the tiger and bats in a ball. What do you think of that? You like that, Ducky? Ducky's like, you woke me up for this. Inside it says, oh, well, first off, there's a limb envelope that says donation. Thank you so much. I have that right over to DJ. So first off, the card says, get your paws on some birthday fun. Congratulations on two years of Kitten Academy. It has become a regular part of our lives. Thank you for allowing us to watch classes grow up. We look forward to seeing you again at KACON 2. TFP Tech, Kitty Girl, and Bella Kitty. Mm -hmm. And then there's another note here specifically from Bella. Mr. A and DJ, I can't wait to see you at KA Con. I love seeing the kittens, especially Custaroo. Aww. Congrats, Aww. Bella. Aww. Thank you, Bella. That's very sweet. I'll give you both of them. I don't know if you can put those back in the envelope. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bella and TFP Tech and family. That's very sweet. Um, and with that, we're going to call this mailbag to a close. You think I should play the, the thing as an outro? Should yeah. I? Okay. I'm gonna... Oh, the mailbag thing? Yeah, the mailbag thing. What? No, I'm at the mailbag thing. Let's, let's do it. We're going to play the mailbag jingle again as an outro now. Just because we can. I'm very excited about the fact that we can. <laughs> so here we go. This time we're not going to talk over it, though. A moment of silence. Kitten Academy is where you want to be when you are on a Saturday, they can contemplate time for the mailbag. I think you were pretty noisy anyway, but that's fine. All right, we're done with the outro. Yes. All right, uh, I'm not going to turn off the archive yet. We're going to just keep it going for a couple minutes while we clear out the room, and that way uh, all of you can continue to watch as the faculty come in and annoy uh, all the kittens here. Because uh -huh. uh, I'm going to put Pum up, and then, yeah, we're going to open the door and carry all this stuff out, and then we're going to go make up the endowment bags because we've got, like, three hours, and uh, it might take us that long. And 
whatever time it doesn't take is my chance to go out and enjoy this wonderful weather with a drone or something. Oh, uh, we never got back to this because the rest of it either isn't here yet or um, uh, is in the stuff we haven't opened, which doesn't seem likely, so. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to set this aside in the room, and that way we'll have it for next time. And I'm still not going to tell you what it is until we find one of three. A little mystery for next time. I'll put it right up here. We won't forget it. When we, when we find one of three, then we'll definitely remember that's there. All right, Pummy, uh, i got to put you away so that you don't cause any trouble while we're taking stuff out of the room. I know you, you seem like a reformed cat, but we're not going to take any chances, especially when you're just about to leave. We don't have to traumatize anybody. This is also frolly stuff right here. Heck, I think you can combine those actually. Why don't you take that and put it in here and then we'll do a little better. Okay. Yeah. straight into the annex. I'll take care of that real quick. Wasn't there something else that was going to go straight in the annex? One of the towers? That's what I'm talking about. I feel like there was something else too, though.
brought you some of the trolley for you and your kids. I think you guys are going to like this one. Right over here. Oh, Squeak, I know you want me to hang out with you. I got stuff to do first, and then I'll come back, okay? So much stuff. Oh, oh, here's all of our letters. Okay. Tell so bold, but not bold enough to go past the dog, I see. What are you teaching these kids about?
This stuff so that I can let mom out. <clears throat> Let's go for today's additions. wash out there in the kitchen on a washabout. What are you guys doing?
Oh, he's a very bold explorer. He does not want to come back in the room. He's just like, no, I'm going to keep going. I'm not saying what his treat yet is, but I guess he just doesn't like me touching it. Yeah. Unless I have treats, in which case he's all for it. Sorry for locking you up, Pumps. <laughs> <laughs>